Hello students, welcome back to Rosy Maths class. Today we shall do construction of wavy wave from chapter number 8, playing with constructions. This is given in our new NCRT textbook, Ganit Prakash. We have already done some artwork freehand. So these are the figures that we had drawn freehand. Also we did construction of a person. Today we will do constructing wavy wave using a ruler that is a scale and a compass. This is a compass. So ruler and compass we are going to use to make wavy wave. So let us start constructing the wavy wave. It looks something like this. You have a central line. Okay. You have a wave up on the upper side and a wave on the lower side of this line. So this is the rough sketch of the figure that we are going to draw. As the length of the central line is not specified, we can take it to be of any length. However, in the textbook, it is given that let us take AB to be the central line with length 8 cm. So if this is the ruler, you see here 0 cm and here we have 8 cm. Okay, so I'm going to take 8 cm. I'll place the ruler like this. Mark a point at 0 and mark a point at 8. Okay, we are taking the length to be 8 cm and I am going to divide 8 into 2 parts. So, 8 divided by 2 is 4 cm. So, also I will mark a point at 4 cm and then half of 4 that is 2 centimeters. So, I will mark a point at 2 centimeter here and 6 centimeter here. Okay. So, what I have done is I have marked a point at 0, 8, then 4, 2 and 6. Okay. I will just write the points 0, 2, 4, 6, 8. And the reason is 4 is the midpoint between 0 and 8. 2 is the midpoint of 0 and 4, 6 is the midpoint of 4 and 8 and I will tell you how it is going to help you. So, I will join the points, all these points. I will label this as A, midpoint here is X and the end point is B. So, A, X, B. Now see here I have marked two more points here. How is this going to help? It is going to help to draw the waves because this is the midpoint of AX. So keep your metal point here, pencil point you keep here and take the measurement okay like this you take the measurement and draw a semicircle. So, when I do that, see what do I get. Now, is the same measurement. Keep the metal point here, this point here and draw a semicircle on the lower side like this. And do you see here? It touches the point B. Okay. Okay. So, we are done drawing the wavy wave and now, you can just draw these vertical lines how it is given in the textbook like these vertical lines and then shade it. See this one I am doing for you and here also we are going to draw straight vertical lines. This is given on page number 191 of the textbook. So almost done drawing the lines and now if you want you can just shade it like you know like this shade it to give a better look so that is how you need to draw wavy wave so the measurements a to b is 8 centimeter a to x is 4 centimeter x to b is also 4 centimeter and this is 2 centimeter in the very beginning itself if you mark those points one point here like the 8 centimeter then at 4 cm, this is at 2 cm and this is at 6 cm. See, I have written the numbers here. 
then it will be very easy for you to construct this wavy wave. Well, that's all for now. See you all in the next video.